Welcome back to Kaiyusha Chronicles. Uh, this is the next episode. What are we doing on today's episode? Uh, we're gonna pull the motor on the four-door. We're gonna get this coupe out of the way. Um, back it in over there. Well, first we're gonna get some pictures of this thing after yeah. we get these cars shuffled around. So the Civic, the Civic is going out today. Um, we're pretty much done with it. There's a couple things that we weren't able to source, like a passenger fender and a little... There's a couple things we weren't able to source. The passenger fender and the grill thing. But um, the grill is literally like 20 bucks on eBay. If that's something that someone wanted to buy. Without it, it's a look that you can run. I don't know. how. Do you ever run that look? I think I ran that once on the Civic. The no grill look. <laughs> Oh, yeah, look. I actually took mine off to sell. He's got no grill either. So that means it's perfectly fine to have no grill on a city. But, <clears throat> yeah, we'll show you guys. We'll show you guys this thing when we're outside. It's good to go now. Um, we've had our fun with it. We did a little build on it. It's pretty much solid. Um, drives really nice. Coilovers, exhaust. It's it's a basic Civic build, you know? It's nothing crazy. Basic D-Series. You guys saw it, but she's going to be on her way out today. And Tyler's car is going to be getting swapped or fixed or whatever ends up happening. And then I think I might work on the Prelude a little bit today too, guys. So I might start taking this front end off. Um, I guess you'll, you'll have to see here. But we're going to get to work. So I'll let you guys know when we start doing cool stuff. guys so this is our completed budget civic i'm showing you guys the wrong side um we got the hood on there there we go that's the pretty side the prettier side yeah i mean it's it's a budget honda guys it's it's not budget. perfect but that's budget. okay started off automatic with no interior ended with an integer interior Everything is custom, CRV cluster, it's got the radio, it's got the carpet, it's got the seats, it's got the Integra shift knob. I mean, this thing's not perfect, but for what you're getting, it's a pretty sweet deal, considering it's rust-free. You know, not to mention, I mean, if you're into the stuff, you got, it's, it's ready to be stripped out for racing. I mean, the trunk, well, all the sound deadening is out of this thing. The trunk definitely needs a cleaning. Uh, it looks a lot better on camera than it does on person. But yeah, we, we took out all the sound deadening, stripped this thing down, threw on K2 and coils. Got the exhaust, exhaust, no cat, whatever. Full stainless exhaust. We converted the tail lights to the 99 2000 ones because they look way cleaner with the red. It's a DX, so it's already the lightest coupe you can get. There's no sunroof and it's rust free. This is the lightest shell you can get that isn't the hatchbacks. We got a wool. All right, guys. So, anyways, there we go. Shout out to the homie droppers for the whip. I think I don't know about you, but I love the whip on this thing. I really think it completes the look. Um, yeah, we're gonna go ahead, drive it back down the road, get it back to the shop, get our cars parked in order. We'll get some pictures of this thing right away. But right now. Get some rollers. Yeah, we'll catch you guys later. So the day is getting started. We just got the car swapped out and I was just messing around back here, got a little bit sidetracked. But we are gonna be moving the Civic over to a spot where she'll be able to be fixed up. So you're gonna be getting this thing ready to pull, right? Yeah, we're gonna pull the motor. We're gonna do, obviously, head gasket, replace the head. Um, hopefully that fixes everything. I was gonna bring my ball joints and tie rods and stuff, but 
we'll see what everything turns out to be. I'm sure they're bad, but I'm pretty sure they were bad last time too. It's a daily, you guys know how it is. So let's get this thing out, do the bare minimum amount of work to get it back on the road. Yeah, we gotta get this thing back on the road because sooner than later, my hatchback is gonna need some fixing. So we got work to do and there's also side projects going on. So I'll catch you guys when uh, a time lapse will probably incur right now. All right, guys, welcome to the new shop for today. Come down here. The four door, my daily is just squeezed in there. Perfect. Oh, it, we are, we're upside down. Hold on. All right. So we got the Teggy, we got my daily, and we got the Prelude over here. So the goal is with two different projects going on, I moved the lights to, um, probably gonna move my toolbox around. We'll get a good view of everything going at once. So it might be a little confusing. You might have to watch the video twice if you wanna see everything. But it, at the end of the day, it's just a time lapse, so. Yeah, I mean, we're working. There's only one camera, so. Fucking pack off of the porch or break a pound down Get the scrap if it happen to blow it makes a round sounds Pussy cat on my lap push it back and go to town down Putting rap on my back and I'm black and snatching crowns I they came back around like a nigga selling cracking pounds I got a bag now but it's nothing to brag about Gun blast in the background I'm a black man with the bloodhounds Mac 10 making love sounds to a bad chick she from uptown or from down south not a loud mouth we could fuck around Hit the music baby cut it down Hit the doobie while you do me indubitably I feel like I'm a bust now. Not sponsored by Jack Lynch yet. Yet. Always, always. Discount code coming soon? Maybe, yeah. Discount code coming soon. Anyways, um, I got all the front end stuff off the prelude that needs to come off in order for me to start. While you're brushing this down and checking out these spot welds, seeing how much of a job this is really going to be. Um, now you can see the damage clear as day. So... We might be able to yeah you can see how bent up it is from this angle um so yeah we're gonna be taking this apart and uh seeing what's what we can do with it like i said i got the whole front end now it's now you can see it what do you think we got a whole good front end and a half a smash front end so i mean if we play our cards right you have a whole nother life to smash this thing into a tree again, as long as it's on this side. Exactly, so, but over here, um, what's the progress update? Um, this motor's I mean, gotta come out and get fixed. I pretty much got all the hoses other than the heater core stuff out. I gotta get the plugs out of the ECU and the exhaust. I've had problems with these headers before, the previous owners, um, I think they were missing a stud, so they welded it in. I don't really have to say much more. Um, we're gonna try to save the headers if we can because the head is bad. It has a crack in the, in the head. There's nothing we can do about that. Um, you could have somebody fill it, but why? I mean, I just see it as an excuse to get rid of one. We have six others, so. Yeah, we got plenty of heads to go around, so. Um, but yeah, I gotta get the exhaust off of this thing and then I'm gonna Oh, the exhaust and the linkage, I forget. The, those things are super easy because it's shifter cables. This thing, you gotta deal with the, the notorious uh, shift linkage pin, which I'll show you guys, if I remember, I'll show you guys a little trick if I haven't already, but there's a, there's a certain tool, you can go get it at the hardware store and it fits perfect. So, update you guys on that. But other than that, um, gotta get back to work. Sounds good. She packed my bags last night, free flight. Zero hour, 
So the axles are out, the Honda chain is hooked up, um, I drained the coolant, I drained transmission fluid as much as I could. There's always going to be a little bit that spills, so we have a carpet underneath our tire. Keep the mess down, um, yeah I mean let's get it out. Alright guys, so the motor is out, um, I'm going to take this wiring harness off, get everything ready to pull the head off, and uh, after I get the head off I'll worry about the intake manifold and everything and I can put it on the table. But, just wanted to give you guys this quick update, motor is out of the car, I don't know, I might look at some stuff in here too, see if there's anything I want to wire brush and paint over, uh, just to get rid of some surface rust, so, yeah. <laughs> All right, so the new head is installed on the Y5 block for Tyler's daily um, it's got a new head gasket this head should be fine it should be better than his old one it's not cracked and the manifolds actually gonna seal up this time so hopefully I gotta get everything torqued down yet and uh, I gotta put that coolant hose on that would have been a pain to get in the car so. yeah so while he's getting this ready to go I am making some progress on the preludes front end I think I'm just gonna cut this kink out and then go from there. Um, I have this whole front end to work with, as I said, but the spot welding is not working out too good. This metal is a lot thicker than the rear was, so it's a little bit more of a challenge, but I'm gonna figure it out nonetheless. But I think for now, I'm gonna get this kink cut out and then see what, what I'm working with and we'll go from there. Cause past this kink, it isn't too bad. And I think I can get away with just replacing this but we'll see um, I'm gonna get that cut out and then see what I can do <laughs> When you first push in the clutch, that's the moment. That's when you really notice it. Just how different it feels. Uh, unreal. Whoa, it's like having gold. Told you you'd be impressed, didn't I? No, it goes way beyond. Alright, so everything's done. It's about an hour and a half, two hours later. Um we put the shiny chrome valve cover on it. I put my intake back on it. Unfortunately, no VTEC. Where's the other one? No VTEC. Um, however, this thing should be running a lot better than what it did before. Uh, I need to cap off the cruise control back here, and then this will need to get capped off. Um, but I'm hoping no Honda idle, no high idle, 
that car started to idle at what like four grand uh, one time coming home and it always idled a little high but not that high obviously so um, yeah Nick got some some prelude cutting going over there while I did that you guys saw all that on the time lapse well most of it at least the phone died but yeah anyways let's uh let's get to it way beyond that this blows me away how'd you manage to get a hold of something like this i just can't believe you got this for the 86 that's amazing yeah me either I haven't felt this excited in a while you can leave it up to me all right so the new motor is in and we are going to be wrapping things up for the night and then coming back tomorrow to get this thing fired up for the first time with the new head on it. So right now, this is a Y7 head on a Y5 block. The Y5 is usually VTEC, but the Y7 is non-VTEC, so we're taking a VTEC. VTEC, but a weird VTEC. Hold on. Look at this head. It's, if you don't know, you don't know, just looking at it. But if you know, I mean, This was the Y5 it. head. This is a VTEC head. This is, this is different than any other I mean, you can see the other VTEC heads that we have, um, kind of, actually, they're all torn down. But this is a Y7. This y is a VTEC head. This is, yeah, so apart. it's got these buckets on it for the VTEC. While well, this oh, one, oil. yeah, the oil pressure bucket thingy, the VTEC, basically. This doesn't have that. It's completely different. Super interesting. It looks like these little roller balls do it. I don't know what they're called. I would assume probably some sort of bearing. Yeah, I think this is just the older VTEC. Or um, just different. I don't it's, know. It's VTEC E, so it is different. But anyways, yeah, the prelude, I, I gotta sleep on this one. I cut out the most of the crinkle, but I gotta sleep on what I wanna do spot weld wise and then get back to it tomorrow. Um as well as getting back to this project, which will be done tomorrow, yeah. Hundred oh, yeah. percent back on the road tomorrow. Hopefully it's an improvement. Hopefully it runs better than it did before. I think it'll run good. Uh, with it being a Frankenstein, though, we'll see. It's always, it's always a gamble when you when you toss parts together that aren't supposed to be together. Technically, but but it's Honda, so it's Honda. We'll so we'll see exactly. So we'll uh, we'll catch you guys tomorrow morning. And yeah, you know, I know. So, I know. all right, guys. Let me it's the next day. This. Next day. Good morning. Um, it's a little bit of a later start. It's, I think, already like 9.30 or 10. We had to run to the junkyard, and I grabbed my headers because we didn't have any series headers laying yeah. around. We had to so, cut those ones off because they were welded onto the head. Yeah. Um, anyways, we were talking about the prelude a little bit. I don't know if you want to talk about this. But... Yeah, so we made I made some cuts to the prelude. I kind of just cut the really messed up part out. And we're kind of coming up with a game plan here. I started taking some spot welds out, getting some ideas down. Kind of just messing around with it because I do have the whole front. So once we get a good game plan ready, I'll just have everything ready to go. But we're thinking that we're just going to cut it here and probably just cut along this, cut all this off, replace the whole front. And uh, just this, this right here is kind of kinked. So once we cut all this out... We might have to straighten this up a little bit. We're not sure. Maybe hit it with a hammer a little bit. We'll see. Um, but this is definitely going to be a project that's worth sticking around to see because in the end... It's going to be a custom build. I yeah. mean, there's not really... You guys saw... And if you didn't see, you can see back, what, like eight videos ago in the thumbnail. Um, it was pretty messed up. I mean, you know... The crash, definitely. I mean, it could have been worse, but we're here right now, and the car is fixable, so we're going to fix it. That's the bottom line. But we'll fix it. that's for probably a different episode, honestly, because today we do have to finish this car up. This is Tyler's Daily. Um, the goal is to get this thing running and driving out of here, yeah? Yeah, it's it's pretty much done. Um, we just got to put train fluid in it. I got to put these headers on, and I might have to make an adjustment to the exhaust be some welding um everything else is already hooked up i think i did repair the harness a little bit um just gotta it's been a while since i've pulled the motor so pulled the d-series at that i've been messing with with the b20s over here on the prelude 
So. Nah, he's making stuff up. This was a piece of cake. It's about to run and drive, no problem. New head gasket, we retimed it. It's a Frankenstein build, dude. You gotta remember that. This is a Frankenstein. Well, I mean, it's a D-Series, so it'll run. It'll run. It'll run. That's why, well, that's why it's my dude. Yeah, all right. We're gonna get this thing running and then let you guys know. Plotting up a homicide when I'm out the ride. I'm gripping on my 45, keep it by my side. You know I'm always down the slide when it's over die. I'm just a hustler in the play with the deadly vice. I'm plotting up a homicide when I'm out the ride. I'm gripping. Alright, so we're just making some adjustments to the exhaust here because the new manifold doesn't quite line up with his old exhaust, so we kinda have to cut some flanges and change them a little bit, so. We're gonna be taking the flange off of this mid pipe here instead of this one. This one does not fit good at all. This is the one that was on his other manifold. As you can see, it's kind of messed up, doesn't really fit the greatest. All right, so this flange fits a lot better than the other one, as you can see goes right on there way better seal can get the bolts way tighter can put smaller bolts in it just works out better so we're gonna get that in and then that should be it for this car yeah hopefully yeah we still gotta start it after this yeah we'll see but this should be the final step before we can start it up all right let's hear it Nah, we look good. All right, let's try this again. Watch for fuel. Good. Still isn't stopping. Go for it. All right, well, it's been a minute. Yeah, so basically we gotta run it. Um, the issue is that if you're familiar, the G101, which is the thermostat ground over here. We had a similar issue on the rainy day Civic a while back. However, bad lighting. with this one, yeah, bad lighting in here. With this one, um, it wasn't in the harness. It's a ground that comes from the harness to ground out the ECU and your main relay, and which goes with your distributor. It, it's important, right? So regardless, I scanned some codes that grounded out my ECU, so I was able to scan the codes, being that it's an OBD2. Uh, I was coming back with low coolant, which isn't a big deal, and then the main one, which is the idle air control valve, but it wasn't the normal one, It was, uh, which I think is like P1507. It was a P1509, which usually is like an electronic failure, i.e. bad wires, which would make sense because the wiring harness is hacked, or bad idle air control valve. Turn um, this car off real quick. Turn this one? Or this, this one. one. Oh, yeah. Man. I wouldn't let it run too long with the bad. Uh, yeah. Regardless, I unplugged it and I unplugged the idle air control valve while it was running. It, it didn't run better, it didn't run worse. Uh, so I'm guessing that it's a bad idle air control valve or dirty or bad wires. So we're going to look at all that inside right now all right so this is the idle air control valve taken off um it was it looked pretty bad it was like pretty darn black is it still black yeah there's yeah. still uh ah, here let's get that in the lighting yeah somewhere all right so focus okay good there she goes It looks better than it did before. Pretty dark. Oh, that didn't sound good. That well, was our nah, we're good, guys. The cave isn't collapsing, but this idle air control valve might be collapsing. We're gonna find out if we can clean it up. So, in the next step, nah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay, everybody. So we just removed the intake manifold, and we are now beginning to uh pull out this wiring harness it's almost out we have pretty much everything disconnected this should be the final couple plugs here um we'll see if tyler's capable of unplugging them you know 
sometimes it's hard to unplug them. No, this one is broken. I remember that. Yeah, but we're going to be swapping the harness out, like I said before, uh, putting new coolant in it, and then she should be she should be good to go. But, uh, yeah. I sure do hope so. Just like that, the wiring harness is coming out. Coming out. Come on now. Yeah, this wiring harness was kind of hacked up. Um, to be fair, Tyler did buy it this way. He attempted to fix it and made progress because the car started. Yeah, no, but I fixed a lot of things on it. It, Every it time worked. I took the motor out, I fixed them on it. He, but. yeah, it it worked. But we're gonna try a new harness just to eliminate that as a as a potential reason for why this thing isn't running good i think it's definitely the harness i think it's one of the one of the grounds was bad or something something about the harness wasn't right yeah so and don't we're gonna them. we're gonna go back through this harness though and we're gonna get it fixed and yeah, we're gonna run it in a car yeah, i don't have i didn't have a solder gun for most of the soldering iron for most of these so a lot of these connections are like where'd they go <laughs> they're a little bulky here and there like that bulky as hell but it's a lot better than what it was and it worked. But now we're gonna go through and look at where all of this stuff is leading to. So. All right, so here's our new harness in front of us. We got ECU connector. And then this is the driver's side chassis connection. Alternator stuff down here. Um, this would be for a O2 sensor, maybe something down there. Um, so the these are all intake manifold. Injectors right here. Injectors go up here. Intake stuff, blah, this blah, blah. This is a uh, vehicle speed sensor, knock sensor. We got an oil pressure stuff. sensor on here. Yeah, somewhere, actually, no, this is oil pressure sensor. There it is. This is the knock sensor. Um, and down here we got thermostat G101 and these three on the head, which should be the camshaft position sensor. And this would be the other one that's over there. And then this one that's right next to them. I don't know the names of them. I know where they go though. Starter. The, the <laughs> Starter. Yeah, yeah. Wait, is the VTEC not on here? The VTEC is. That's what's missing? These two. Oh, okay. And this is for the distributor. Oh, okay. So no VTEC. So no VTEC. Was there a cut? Well, no, there is VTEC right here. This is VTEC. Yeah. But no VTEC on the car. And then, yeah, so we got to figure out what this plug is, where that goes. And it shouldn't be too hard. Okay. Sounds good. I see it. What is it? It's this one. All right, so the Y8 harness is currently in. Um, we're probably gonna be showing off the Civic here pretty soon, so we'll see what happens, but yeah. Um, this thing will probably be here ready to drive in a couple of minutes. We'll see. I mean, we gotta get the intake on and then we can get everything tested, but you never know what's gonna happen, but I think this harness fix will definitely improve the way the car is running and probably help us diagnose it if there is any other issues, but we'll let you guys know what happens. Okay, the Civic is gone. Huh? Civic is gone, guys. Uh, we sold the Civic, and uh, it's no longer here anymore. So, the today agenda, the agenda for today is uh, to get this thing good to go. So, Y7 head, Y8 harness, Y5 block, Y5 intake. Do you have gas? Nope. This thing is running quite interestingly, but he also might not have any gas. Am I gonna make it on this side? Yeah, you're good. Yeah. I feel like she just needs gas. Why 
can see the red part, so it's got an upcast in it. Well, uh, we'll let you guys know. All right, guys. Well, we're going to be leaving this video on a cliffhanger because sometimes that's just the way it is. Um, Things will never be the same. We don't know for sure what's up with the car, but we're going to put in a new idle air control valve, and that should do the trick. Hopefully, we don't know, but that's going to pretty much wrap it up for this video because we've been working on it for so long. So does the Frankenstein motor work? Who knows? We'll see in next Who video. Knows? But you actually won't see in next video because next video we have something super, super special planned for you guys. So um, we just hit 800 subs. What do you think about that, Tyler? We're getting really close to 1,000 subscribers. Um, and it's pretty... It's wrench dropping awesome. Um, yeah, 1,000 subs is going to be pretty exciting. Yeah, I'm excited for you guys to see what we have in store for 1,000 subscribers. Um... I'm excited to see how you guys like our next couple videos. Um, I think they're going to be some fan favorites, to be honest. Uh, yeah, stay tuned. Yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Um, we've got some work to do, and we don't really have a whole lot of time to pick the camera up here in the next couple days. So this is going to be wrapping it up until the big surprise coming up here pretty soon. So just stay tuned. Um, I know it's been a long video, and it's been kind of all over the place, but... Um, that's kind of just how these videos are. You guys know how it is, but um, this is a little side project going on, something that you guys might end up seeing posted later on our Patreon, actually, that we're working on that will come out when we hit 1,000 subscribers. So look out for that. There's going to be some exclusive videos on there as long as um, we're making them. And there will also be like a 5% discount on the website. So look out for that at 1,000 subscribers. It's going to be some, some fun content. If you guys... If you guys like stories, if you guys like seeing everyday stuff, transformation, stuff like that, check out the Patreon once we uh, once we link that. But uh, yeah, I mean, we had a lot a lot in this video for you guys. We got rid of the Civic, which was a big one. Um, so now we got some more space, and we're ready to get something new. Uh, so I guess I. Uh, I Man, I don't know what to say. <laughs> you know what to say. I don't know what to say. say the famous last words. Well, guys, if your car burns oil, subscribe. <laughs>